Christian Hammer, the Romanian-born fighter now based in Hamburg. 27 years old and comes into this fight having won his last 10. We've already heard Tyson Fury, a massive favourite. But heavyweight boxing, you never know. Accidents happen. And Fury, is he taking a risk? Or is he going to outclass this guy? Well, we'll see. If you're going to see Fury as a viable man to give Vladimir Klitschko some sort of problem, you'd think he's got to account for Christian Hammer reasonably clearly. Had some good wins at European level. Tyson Fury suggesting that he is maybe a level beyond that. And now, making his way to the ring, here is the champion, ranked the WBO number one heavyweight in the world from Manchester, England, Tyson Fury. Michaels, alias Elvis, sings Trouble. Tyson likes his music and this was his idea. was different Tyson Fury arrives in the ring the crowd give polite applause and now we will have some boxing and some fighting Fury against Christian Hammer here now is Jimmy Lennon jr. gentlemen welcome to the O2 arena in London as Frank Warren presents the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Queensberry promotions in association with Fury Promotions and Hennessy Sports. Sponsored by Raynham Steel, Didier Patisserie and Coral, our main event is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, President Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor, former world champion Istvan Koko Kovacs. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Mick Collier. Introducing our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, from Sweden, Michael Hook. From Germany, Frank Michael Maas. And from Birmingham, England, Terry O'Connor. Our referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions from Twickenham in England, Marcus McDonald. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO International Heavyweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live on Box Nation from London, England, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red uh, corner, wearing black trunks with multicolored trim, fighting out of Hamburg, Germany by way of Romania. 
He weighed in at 17 stone, 10 pounds, or 248 U.S. pounds. His record stands at 17 wins, three losses, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout, including 10 straight victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former German and WBO European champion, tonight making his UK debut and ranked number three WBO world heavyweight contender, introducing Christian Hammer. And his opponent across the ring, the defending champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green trunks with gold trim, fighting out of and representing of home of Manchester, England. He weighed in at 18 stone, 8 pounds, or 260 U.S. pounds. Undefeated in his campaign in the ring, his record stands at 23 wins, no losses, with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked in the top five by all boxing organizations, he currently holds the British, European, and WBO International Heavyweight titles. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBO number one ranked heavyweight in the world, introducing the hard-hitting, the colorful, and the undefeated Tyson Fury. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Marcus McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by the referee, we have an equipment delay, a split glove. We have a short delay before the start of the instructions and the beginning of this bout. Well, I've not seen this before. Before the fights even started, they found a problem with the glove, presumably, presumably sustained while working on the pads before coming out, before coming out into the ring, yeah. and they're having to change it. It's just that cord, you know, when it, when it attaches the thumb to the glove. Otherwise, you could be thumbing people. You know, back in the day, remember, people used to get thumbed in the eye quite often, and that that prevents that. So, yeah, it's just showing the, the power, I guess, of Eubank. Got, of, um, Eubank. <laughs> I got Eubank on the brain now. A fury on the pads. A little bit of a anticlimax after the uh, silky smooth voice of uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. gives uh, the usual polished introduction to the two fighters. But it's a Tyson Fury fight. You, you always got to expect the unexpected. <laughs> Clifton Mitchell working as uh, chief second in that corner along with Peter Fury. Good heavyweight Clifton few years back yes works in the security business around Derby now and Tyson Fury well he's a, a huge a huge favorite for this and rightly so I thought his performance against Derek Chisora it, a few people wrongly booed it didn't they but it was just he just fighting Southpaw he absolutely did a number on him that sort of measured and cautious performance which it was a little in many ways he could have got there got it earlier I felt to be honest he, he done everything right. He didn't take any stupid risks, and that's what's going to help him become a world champion. If he makes it, it's because of them sort of performances, not the wild ones we've seen in, in the past. Well, I think we're nearly ready to go. Cornermen are leaving the ring now, the Fury clan. The in charge, Marcus McDonald, now to give instructions. But the first thing you know what I expect. Act like professor at all times. By my instructions, watch your rates. Any questions? Let's go to work. Uh, uh, uh. A bit of Mickey taking from Tyson Fury. Hammer not wanting to touch gloves. Referee insisting they do. Well, the uh, pantomime hostilities are over now. Let's see what the real ones are like. Tyson Fury suggesting that the advertising. Uh, cone right in front of our commentary position was out of position quite right Second our floor down. manager puts it right and now we are underway a boxer, 12 rounder a boxer and an event organizer no theory. well first of all he's fighting out of an orthodox stance <laughs> as long as he keeps it long plenty of movement plenty of jabs 
I don't think he'll have too many problems. But if he starts playing playing too many silly games and you know, draws Hammer into a fight in, in, in this weight division, that, that can always be a dangerous thing. Tyson physically so much the bigger man stands almost six foot nine. And he made Hammer aware of it the way in, didn't he, when he went tre chest to chest and went on his tiptoes as well, did Fury, just to show the height difference. Has been caught before, though. Fighters have put him down. But what I've always thought about Fury is that he can box, but when they chips it down, my goodness me, there's a real fighting man in there. I think that's, I think that's been, even though he's won everything, so it's hard to criticise too much, but that's been a bit of his problem. He likes to fight too much, but he's actually a, a better boxer. Well, he, he's been around the gyms before he really settled with Peter Fury. Been with a lot of guys, and virtually everywhere he's been, he's talking and goading to Hammer, but they've talked about his skill. I remember talking to Joe Gallagher about that. He spent some time up in Manchester, and he said, yeah, he's huge and he hits hard, but he is a real boxer. Yeah, he is. I think, he's, I think the, his basis is always his boxing ability. I don't think he's the biggest, but he's obviously an all puncher that way. I don't think he's the biggest puncher in the division. But, but his boxing ability, his movement is tremendous. And he has a reach Lovely. as well, which would give anybody trouble. So often when you're fighting Vladimir Klitschko, you see people dwarfed. And, yes. uh, whether, and it clearly he's not going to be able to do that. It's going to be a whole different set of tactics if, when that fight happens. And someone like Klitschko, not to box the same way as Ridges, but that, that way that he's patient with his work, Klitschko, he don't take any risks until, the, until the, the guy in front of him is tired or frustrated. I think that's what Tyson implemented in his last fight. I think, that, I think that's the key for him to go on to be, be even more successful than he already is. Switch to Southpaw now. And he started confidently. Hammer trying to walk him down, get him into range to land something of note. Not been able to find a, a really clean shot so far. Well, that's a lovely left hand from Fury. Accurate, right on the target. He's countered well off the ropes, and he, Fury? The ropes are quite loose, actually. He's leaning back effectively and then coming back with, with single shots and... and doubling up sometimes never going to be a w massive one punch knockout man fury in the manner of say a frank bruno no. well no i don't think he is but you know they can all hit it that way obviously but he hits hard enough to keep you away that's for sure oh look Lovely. at that look at him let the punches go there and he's <laughs> enjoying that and all the talking and stuff as long as he does it out the range it's not a problem so that's that's in his makeup isn't it that's part of it the part of the deal with him I also thought it was a good round there from Fury. Hammer Very good. doing all the pressure, but all of, all of the work, all the punches landed were from Tyson. Well, let's hear from the corner. Here he is with Peter Fury. That's when he stays up. So again, yeah. Just keep touching him up, touching him up. Long up a foot, having a look at him. You see how he's flailing away when he's coming in, yeah? Nice and relaxed now. We've got the first round over. We know what he's about. He's trying to walk you down to the corner, trying to land a few shots, yeah? Punish him on the inside, wrap him up, yeah? Yeah. Keep punishing him with a jab, touching him up, punishing him with a jab, leaning back, moving across. Some nice stuff. Enjoy it in here. This is a journeyman, yeah? yeah? Just don't get careless and break him down like you're doing. You can't keep taking shots round after round. We'll step it up when we're ready. Almost yeah? empty, baby. Yeah? Almost empty. He's enjoying himself. And here's some of the action from that opening round and you see that he's might be a huge old unit tyson fury but he's got good footwork and he well when those long arms tie you up you're certainly tied the best thing about that john to be honest was they've had to get a pub stool in the corner for tyson because he's so tall hammer trying to walk him down trying to get him into range all fury so far better yeah just keep popping him with the jab peppering him all the time sneak those right hands in or left hands depending on what, what stance he's boxing out of and let make the fella commit himself make silly wrists jump into punches and then you got him well he comes in now and does get inside and tries to rough fury up heads were not too far away that right hand missed by several inches Almost felt the draft here at ringside. <laughs> referee just, yeah. yeah. He was shouting, come on, come on. Did you see that? He's here. <laughs> but you got to keep that jab in his face all the time. Good shot. 
just throws it. He don't throw that, that backhand straight through. He? he just throws it slightly up, slightly on a curve. So it's hard. It's hard for Hammer to defend. <laughs> He already do it. Good. Doing everything pretty much right so far. But Hammond needs to be more head movement. But what he did there, Hammond, he took the shot, but he rushed Tyson. So he stunted the power of the shot and then, and then was able to land his own. I think that's a good tactic there for Hammer. Not the most agile or mobile of fighters, but I think he, he could rush in Tyson. Ranked number three by the WBO, Christian Hammer. <laughs> Intentionally standing on the foot there of, of Fury, I think Hammer warned for. Marcus McDonald, cute to it, saw it happening and gave the warning. Brother of Jim McDonald, in case you didn't know. Yeah. I know you knew, but I'm talking, <laughs> talking to the wider audience there. Hammer's shots again through thin air head getting in close and uh, Tyson Fury again talking to the referee Marcus McDonald saying well there's nothing wrong and suggesting that it's Fury is doing the holding and dragging on yeah but it probably is a little bit you know, you know I think Hammers one's gonna work, work the smaller guys gonna want to work in close Oh, a lovely uppercut there from Fury. And Hammer without the head movement, you can't, even if you can see it, you can't get out of the way of it. Another clear round for Tyson yeah, Fury, I, I think suggest. So. You've just got to be a little bit careful, you don't get into a silly pattern of, you know, of repetitiveness and that, and this, this fight goes 12 rounds of, of this, of, of punch and hole, punch and hole. Yeah. Don't take any, uh, was it water? Water! So basically, just nice and relaxed, yeah? Let him meet that jab a bit more, faint, ram the jab in, yeah? And lean back out. Keep moving him around, yeah? Orthodox and switching up on him, yeah? Move that way, move that way. Lean, don't lean in with a shot, step in, lean back, and put the jab on, yeah? Can't deal with the height. When he's coming in, punish him, wrap him up, yeah? Peter Fury has made Tyson a more disciplined and kind of more yeah. tactical fighter yeah, than he was early yeah, in his career. I, I think it's, it's been the difference for me, that, that, and I think he's going to continue to be the difference between Tyson being a world champion or not being a world champion. I think I think he's, he's pivotal. Into the third round. Fury using that reach advantage. Am I keeping a tight guard? A lot of those punches not getting through. Some of them are, though. Yeah, they are. And fast hands as well. You sort of tend to forget that about Tyson. They're very fast hands for a big fella. The hammer not bothered by it. You see a little grin on his face. Now he's going to have a word with both guys here. Sort of the little and large show, isn't it, with uh, Marcus <laughs> yeah. and the boys? <laughs> Fury enjoying boxing out of that South Core style again. Not convinced that's always a legal punch that he lands with the right hand yeah, jab. He back, kind of back flicks it. with the back yeah. of the hand, doesn't he? I'm having a bit of success there. I think Fury in control still. Not worried about it too much, but I think he just gives away too much ground, I think, Tyson sometimes. No, I think he wants to lean back, want to take a step back when, when Hammer comes forward. I just think sometimes his steps back are a little bit too wide, the step, steps. Hammer's looking for that one huge right hand. They'll have studied the tapes, of course. They'll have seen that Fury can be tagged. Witness Cunningham and others. Yeah, it's I, happened. He's different now, though. I think. I don't think he's so gung ho as he used to be. Fury. He used to shorten, it, especially with the backhand, Tyson. He used to shorten the, shorten the distance, lean over with it rather than turn from the waist. When you're in touching distance of millions, the uh, old <laughs> gung ho approach maybe gets, uh, oh, yeah. maybe gets a little bit easier to avoid. Yeah. That's better from Hammer. 
Responded with a solid body shot, Fury. Good right hand. Good little attack there from Hammer. It's been a long time coming, but he will welcome for it. Good shot. And again, to the guard there. Well, it's hit four or five times there while he's thinking about unloading Hammer. And then, and skip, then tied and up. And, sk and then skipped away, first of all, Fury. He got out of got, got all the, all the trouble. Hammer tried to fire back, and nobody was there. If he just shortens it, if he just skips back only half a step, Fury, he can come back after he makes Hammer miss. Hammer getting into range, couple of body shots, but again, his work stifled. He's getting too close. But he's had a better round, hasn't he, Hammer? Yep. Not, not enough, I don't think, but he's had a much better round. <laughs> nice touch of gloves between the two of them. And Fury finishing the round as the aggressor. Have you given him that one? Yes. What you got to do when you need him back, yeah? Just to be sure, yeah? Like I said, use your hands to block, yeah? yeah? Watch for the hooks. This round, I want you switching up. Go orthodox, move around, keep him on the end of the jab, use your feet, yeah? yeah. As his dad, John released from prison earlier this month gypsy john he can only get he can only get lucky with a swing yeah, yeah? watch for that yeah well you heard the tactics switch to orthodox get on your toes work behind the jab let's see him do it they want Hammer to walk on to something. And it is that, it's that Klitschko mentality, isn't it? For straight, for straight, for straight. Served Vladi here particularly wonderfully well over the years. How many millions has he made? Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it's effective. But the jab is key. That, that, that's for certain. With that sort of style, if you're going to do this, you've got to, you've got to have an effective jab. You've got to be a solid punch. Got to be, you've got to make that guy second guess his attacks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it really was. And he has good feet. I just think when he goes back, he just he goes back too fast, too far. Yes, yes, Good work. Just the, the, the advantages of being so tall with a long reach, you can throw those body shots from from outside the distance almost, from, from Hammer's distance. Hammer frustrated at the moment, he's just not getting into position to land big shots. He tried there, but it was easily blocked, and then he big right swinging through thin air, missed again by a distance. Not hurt though, Hammer. Hey, anything so far today no well he's not uh, certainly not uh, taking the sort of head shots that Derek Chisora had by this stage no. in the fight that's a little right hand from Hammer a bit of a reminder to Fury that hook which is which is uh, Uncle Peter was telling him to be wary of Fury just looks technically a little bit of a a class above this fellow though yeah he, and he, he he's learned now as he over the years how to use that reach how to use that height to his advantage because sometimes being so tall can be a curse because you're a bigger target to hit christian hammer was a decent amateur he was a world junior champion yeah. in 2006 and in those championships tyson fury got a bronze medal he lost in the semi-finals to the guy who uh, hammer ultimately beat in the final good shot there from fury He's enjoying himself, Tyson. A smile on his face as he manages to land his shots and then skip away from the attempt at counters. Yeah, he's doing it quite effectively, isn't he, as well? Making Hammer miss quite comfortable. Nice shot. uppercut, nice uppercut. He's measuring in more now. He's taking that jab in his face like he's doing and he's having everything his own way. Shut out time for me, so we'll look what's next. 
the, the biggest price in sport is next and why would you want to be messing around imagine if he just you know, took his off the off the ball now started messing around got knocked out it would just be the worst thing in the world talks about a football stadium showdown with Vladimir Klitschko provided Klitschko comes through his fight against Bryant Jennings the American in April which he surely will do and then they're talking about a football stadium maybe in Germany maybe here in the UK I'm sure Tyson Fury would dearly love it to be here Deontay Wilder of course another option yeah. And didn't he box well? He certainly did. Better than I thought he could. Yes, and me too. I think he surprised everybody. A few chants of fury going up. A few of the uncommitted, maybe he'd like to see a few more fireworks, but as against Derek Chisora, he's doing enough and He's out boxing this fellow. And, and leaning on him as well. Once he throws his punches, Tyson gets in close and putting all his weight on Hammer. And that is a, a mighty, mighty lump of weight as well. Yeah. He is a big, big man. Oh, great shot. <laughs> Terrific right hand. That is a quality punch. What hurts is what you don't see. And Christian Hammer just didn't see that coming. That's exactly. He looked at his corner, didn't he? He just shook his head so I didn't see it. It was a nice short, short little right hook, wasn't it? Just on the back of the guard. And now Tyson Fury will go looking for him. He's looking to put him away here now. It was a bit of a flash knockdown. I'm not sure how seriously hurt he's been. And every second here, as he holds on, his head will be clearing. Be interesting to see where exactly that punch caught him. Certainly didn't see it, though. No, I think, I think it was a right hook just on the back of the guard. So maybe on it the was the right hand, yeah, yeah absolutely. Whether it caught him on the temple, I'm not sure, but it was... And that's the problem with that. You know, you've got a good high gap with our little peekaboo defence. With the open gloves, you can sometimes see the punches we coming. We talked about... Well, that's a good, decent shot from Hammer, but we talked about the hand speed. The hand speed of Fury, yep. and that was what actually paid dividends there. Another good left hand from Fury. And the right hand. That's good, that was a good shot, chopping right hand then. Hammer's blowing. Still got a smile on his face. He's taking some Ooh. massive shots now. He felt that left hook there. From Hammer. You've got to keep these punches long now, Fury. Don't close the gap. Don't give the guy opportunity to fire back. Hammer sees it through to the end of a big fifth round for Tyson Fury. Well, we can say that the advice went rather well there. Yeah, pretty much did, didn't it? Everything's going towards, everything's going extremely well See, for there from Tyson about Taking your chance, taking your time. Oh, oh good shot. That wasn't even a, it wasn't that short that right hand, was it? Turn from the waist, caught him on the temple. Good little body shot just to start that little combination off. Look at that, right on the top of the head. Didn't see it, John, you're right. That's a terrific shot. Oh, look at that. Speed kills. It really does. He does have fast hands for such a big, such a massive fella. He has lightning speed. Cracking it all wrong there. Hold on 10 seconds. Enjoy it. Don't load up. Chris shot. Second round, round six. Well, that's a 10 8 round for Fury to add to what we've given him four rounds before. As we move into the sixth, so there's a reminder from Hammer. Swinging left hand, partially blocked by Fury. And Hammer's come out with a bit of intent. See, keep Peter Fury every round. Don't load up. You know he's, he's trying to just keep him calm all the time. Don't go swinging. Don't go looking for that, that show real knock at the finish. Just patient, patient, patient. Well, look how well it was. It was Emmanuel Stewart really who sorted Vladimir Klitschko yeah. out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he really tightened was, up yeah. his defence, got him jabbing better, got it, and, and the rest is history. And it served him so well. If Fury somehow can find a way to do the same then fortunes can come his way in the in this era of massive heavyweight it was a, it's a template isn't it a hold to be successful that's for sure Anthony Joshua out there somewhere as well I'm sure watching and thinking well my time will come as well yep he's, he's ticking all the boxes at the moment 
Exactly, Joshua. Doesn't need to rush. He's got time. He's only a baby. Oh, good body shot there for Fiona. And the cut. Good work. What good quality punches those were fighting in yeah. reverse. There's not a lot of heavyweights who can do that. Up close in reverse as well, John. Yeah, boxing tremendously well. As you said, his boxing skills are almost unrivaled at some, some stages. What's German for please don't stick the nut on? <laughs> Use of the head, quite clearly. Defensive work again from Fury, getting that glove up to partially block that attempted left hook. Second warning. It's hard to see where Hammer gets any success from, isn't it? Except for, for Fury making a mistake. Yeah, he's going to he's going to yeah. have to get careless and get yeah. caught, isn't he? He can't he can't see a way he's going to win the fight otherwise. He needs to dip his legs and get low and and. and you know, those are lateral movements, those are head movements, rolling forward, but you know, that's not his start, he's not going to be, be able to do that. He's had wins against Kevin Johnson, Leif Larson, Konstantin Eric. these are good, good yeah. European fighters, had a win against a, an old Danny Williams as well. Tyson Fury, different kind of level, I think. That's nice. Oh, one third off through that right hand there. No. Hammer. Landed on the chest ultimately, I think, didn't it? Good off the ropes there though again from Fury. Tying his man up, turning him. Well, Hammer had a couple of punches which found the target, but they were no. isolated moments yeah, of encouragement, so. weren't they? Yeah, they are. He's, 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 he's having little snippets of success, but nothing enough to, to want to do any, any, any part of the wrong. My, my German's not great, but uh, I think there's a bit of psychology going on in there. They're trying to just tell him that things are not that bad. Well, could he just, he's, he's a short, he's a short fan for the heavyweights, but he's, he's too upright. You've got to be dipping, dipping and jumping in with the hooks, I think. He's dipping low and coming back with the left hook. So dipping with the left shoulder, come back with the right hand, and he just doesn't have that lateral movement to do that. He's still dangerous. Yeah. There's been a few great heavyweights, been smaller than Christian Hammer. But he's shot. Yeah, oh, of course. If you clean, first shot, you go. Don't load up. So you've got to have that, that, that lateral movement, that upper body movement if you're a short guy. Yeah, rolling in. Yeah, you've got to a have it. A la Tyson Holyfield. Yeah, Fraser and all them, you know, yeah. they, you know, all, yeah. all the guys were, were so hard to hit clean. They were, never, they were always a moving target. Fury back into the southpaw stance. And we're into the second half of the fight. loving body shots I'm sure Tyson Fury would like a stoppage just to send a, a little bit of a message to potential opponents just in a little clean say though it, 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 you wouldn't really have noticed it but as Tyson was turned he was constantly turning his opponent so then he, he got tangled up hammer he didn't know where, where Tyson was and that's, it's a good little tactic you always keep turning your opponent when you're being close lovely one yeah. two spinning off the ropes and a hint of a smile on the face of Tyson Fury Listen, listen, John, there's a lot of holding and grabbing. This is modern heavyweight boxing, this is how it is. But, but some of the work from Tyson is quite good, you know, they're quite impressive. Fast hands, lovely variety. And if he had that one punch power. If he had that one big knockout punch. Yeah, well, he can knock you out, though, we've seen it. But yeah, yeah, that, you know, that real raw power. That Norton sort of power, then, you know. But he's never going to fight with him. Never fight with him. Speed, speed I, think he's, I don't think he's, he's a handful. I've always rated Tyson Fury, and he's done nothing, nothing here to dissuade that opinion. That's a nice, quick, snapping right hand there. See, I always, I've got to be honest, I always thought that the fact that he never he used to make too many, take too many chances, I never thought he'd make it. Honestly, that's what I thought about. Talented, but takes too many risks. 
but, well, but lately, in the last 18 months or something, it was just... Stand up, Peter I know, Fury, I know, that's, I know been have, his, I know, that's been his. I know we haven't boxed a lot of the David Hay stuff, but, but the last fight especially, he's just really, really been disciplined, and I know you can see that, he, that he's good enough to fight the real world title. The David Hay stuff, of course, for those who don't know. A couple of uh, proposed big money showdowns with the haymaker. He was ready for them, and David, for whatever reason, didn't get to the fight, and so it never happened. Tyson Fury reckoned it cost him five million or more. It did, it did, but I think in the long run he gained because he was in the gym learning. Peter was teaching him stuff, you know, and he, uh, uh, he was getting more mature. He's had good sparring as well, hasn't he, with Eddie Chambers? Good work here. You don't remember, he was 22, 23, wasn't he? You know, now we know he's 26. Physically a maturer, a maturer man. Well, mentally more than anything, I think. That's the most important part. Another clear round for Fury. Yeah, it's getting very much the same though, isn't it? The same thing. I was, I was worried about getting get falling into a pattern of being too much yeah. similar Buying punch, punch time. and hold. Just keep stepping back from him, yeah? When he holds, put your back foot out and move around him. Twist him around and you'll bang him easier. Yeah? <laughs> How do you feel? I'm all right. Big breath. You're getting your shots on. Big breath. Big breath again. Okay. Listen. Well, here's some of the action from that seventh round. Hammer trying to put... Lovely. Pressure on him, but they talk, keep talking about the footwork and the way he's spun in there, beautiful. Tremendous, isn't it? It really is. Uh, it's natural, that is, as well. That's something uh, you don't, he's not even thinking about that. That's just something that he, he, that he, that he does. That's just a natural talent. Just beautiful work. It's all been Tyson Fury so far. <laughs> Lovely combination to start off the round. Just keep it long. And Peter's on about taking a little step back with the back foot, which is perfect. Just drag the front foot. Don't take too much. Don't go too far back with the front foot because then you're out of the, the reach to, to attack. Sit on the back foot. Drag that back foot back. Let him fall short, and you can spring back into attack then. And just be moving a little bit too far back with Tyson and giving away too much ground. In a fight that he's still dominating, of course. Fury has been forced to go the distance on six occasions prior to this. And Hammer, well, he's been down in that fifth round, but he seems to have recovered pretty well. He didn't miss by a lot. No. Seems to have gained a bit of confidence, actually, Hammer. So it's been a round or two since Fury's really hurt him. Yeah. But again, I keep on keep saying the same thing, but just the lack of head move from Hammer means that he's, you know, without, without having a lucky pot shot, he's, he's never going to get a look in. Well, if it's going to come, it's going to be an overhand right, I think, like yeah. that one which he... Close your eyes, Haymaker. Yeah. The Oliver McCall shot against Lennox. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Rackman against Lennox. Oh, no, actually, that was a quality shot, wasn't it? Again, the hand speed, just a little injection of pace all of a sudden. Nice uppercut. <laughs> Well, that certainly discouraged Christian Hammer a little. That was good there from Tyson. A little faint, sat on the back foot there, just waited for a little bit. Making Finish Hammer commit himself. Finished right? it all off with that right yeah, uppercut. Right there, it's been a punch of work all night. Yes! 
Animated advice. You perhaps hear across our microphones from the German corner. Lovely shot there. Lovely left hand there from Tyson. Hammer went the throw is right down. Tyson got it first. As he has done repeatedly. Yeah, it's all one-way traffic, isn't it? A little bit of a mismatch. Or well, at least Fiori's made it look that way. Yeah, he has, yeah. He's what always a massive favourite. We've been a, you a huge shock if you to get beat. Yeah, but what I mean by easy, I mean very easy. You're just trying to make a fight of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say. Oh, they're throwing the towel in. I think they're throwing the towel in. I think they've pulled him out. Fight's all over. Christian Hammer has been retired by his corner and Tyson Fury who's won pretty much every minute yep. of every round every exchange has proved himself a superior man the crowd don't like it very much they'd like to have seen Hammer give a little bit more but quite frankly he was not remotely in the fight well the problem is this is just followed that Saunders Judenov fight where Judenov just went out on his shield literally when so you know Hammer I think I think he might be saying he hurt his hand as well, but he's taking absolute battering. You know, he's never, you know, he had no chance of winning the fight. He got to round eight and he's miles behind. Yeah, and that's not Can't forgetting. Can't for doing boom, it. Boom, 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 boom. Let's round. go, baby. Kind of taunting him, wasn't he? He was just showing himself repeatedly the master in every facet. Yeah, and whether, whether Tyson would have stopped him or not, again, he dominated another guy who was below his level. Not a lot, not a much below his level in the ratings, but below enough for him to shoot that he should have been comfortable. But he totally dominated everything, every second of every round, pretty much. So, you know, I think he's he's ready now. He's ready for that shot. Whether he's good enough to beat Klitschko is another thing. But he's ready. He's earned the right to have a go. Well, that fight could happen in September. He's moved a step closer here. He's gone across the final hurdle. And again, it was boxing skills rather than brute power. It was boxing skills, same as against Derek Chisora. Some of his footwork, John, is tremendous. The way he spins an opponent, even when they're in close and they're hustling and, and leaning on each other, he's always turning you. Little subtle things that you wouldn't even notice. And Hammer sometimes was getting tangled up in, in his own body sometimes. And I think that, that them little things there are little tricks that you don't know much about. Right, we already know the results. The fighters have already congratulated each other. Tyson Fury is the winner, but it's always good to hear it. Here's Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number eight. A referee in charge, Marcus McDonald, recognizes the request of the corner and stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBO International Heavyweight Champion, Tyson Fury. Win number 20.